everybody how's it going welcome finally to mass effect 2 i'm pretty pumped i enjoyed one way more than i thought i was going to 10 years down the road you know after playing it for the first time uh a lot of the upgrades were super nice very appreciated it looked way better but uh <laughs> I've wanted to hit this button for the last couple of weeks, and we're going to hit it now. I'm very pumped. How are you guys doing? What's up, Simon? Hey, Zach. Hey, Diogo. Hey, Kikumi. What's up? MJR, welcome back. Micha, nice to see you, buddy. Just say it. <clears throat> Greedy. That's an early super chat. Thanks, man. Great job with Mass Effect 1, Chris. It was awesome to see the game again. Look forward to this one. Me too. I'm, I'm like... Really, really, really excited about it. <clears throat> I see that it just turned on HDR, so I'm going to have to turn that off. I probably have to adjust some settings here. So uh, don't mind if I, if I fiddle here. Graphics. That reminds me of the... <laughs> that reminds me of the uh, cringing video graphics we're gonna turn off motion blur uh we're 4k love that let's calibrate i'm gonna turn off hdr i would personally like to have it on but uh with streaming it gets a bit weird i'll probably up this just a tad and I think we're good for everything else. Let's make sure we have subtitles on. Uh, difficulty, we're going to go... We probably pick this when we get in there. But we'll do uh, Hardcore again. We won't do Insanity. But I think Hardcore... I think Hardcore is the way to go. Uh, auto level up off. Squad power usage. I'm going to put this to off for now. Subtitles on. Auto save on. And I think... That's probably all we need to do. Oh, ew. What? What happened? What did it change? <laughs> Why? I didn't like that. Uh, let's try that again. Come on. Come on, game. You can do it. Keep these settings. Watch. They've changed. Keep these settings? Yes. What if I say no? Wow. Well, I mean, we're just going to we're just going to play we're just going to play on on 1152 by 720. Like this is how the pros do it. <laughs> Let me see if I can change something here. Maybe if we go borderless Oh. Oh, we might have something here. Display setting, keep these settings. We're getting we're getting closer. <laughs> you have to input it a few times until it works. That's it's a known glitch. I don't glitch. suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. Garris, I do need something calibrated. I need my resolution calibrated. Come on, baby. I mean, I mean, hold on. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll alt enter, alt enter. Like, it just doesn't want to do it. It just doesn't, just doesn't want to do it. I don't know why. Uh, okay, let's try. I can't. I can't get it to save the resolution for some reason. Let me go windowed. Let me go windowed here. And then see if I set yes here. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. But we'll try it. We'll try. We'll try it again. We'll just launch it again. 
It's good. It's a good start. Oh, I don't know if you guys should see this. Can you set it via the NVIDIA software? Uh, not the resolution, no. You can set the frame rate cap, which we've done. I thought 4K was 40, 40, 96 something. Uh, that's for like a non 16 by 9 4K. You don't typically want to roll that one. Okay, well, this is a good sign. We got it. We got it. Oh. Okay, guys, we're gonna import Cinder Shepherd. She's level 55. She's a beaut. What's up, Richard? Thanks for the super chat, brother. Congrats on finishing ME1. Love the YouTube streams. You taught me how to win at XCOM 2 way back. Man, you might need to teach me. I haven't played that game for so long. I would like to, though. I would like to. Okay, uh, so these are settings we already set. Subtitles on, squad powers off. I may end up changing this as we go, but we're going to see. Okay, imported save game details. So Cinder Shepard, rank 55, military spec infiltrator. Uh, psychological profile, Paragon, Commander Shepard followed the Paragon path. Status of Rex, survived the mission on Vermeer. Ashley Williams was killed on Vermeer. The council was saved by Commander Shepard during the attack on the Citadel, and the council seat. Uh, we recommend Captain Anderson. I think that's that's all cool. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna close all my windows. My blinds. Guys, thanks for being here. This is, uh, I'm really excited to start this. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. I don't suppose the eyes. anything around here. Can't abrade it. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the galactic community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earned humanity membership in the prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicate all organic civilization every 50,000 years, Gorgeous. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. 
doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Served us well. Get to the cockpit. Okay. I gotta adjust this very quickly. Drop this like way down here. Doors work. Holy smokes. <laughs> Whoa. I'm I'm sorry, but I have to. Listen to that. You can hear like the ship creaking. That's so sick. That's so here. cool. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack.
pretty <laughs> unbelievable, man. What a good start. I don't remember any of this from when I played it. I don't remember any of that. That's awesome. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. <clears throat> Let's go. Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. Would you like to review the story so far? Uh, does this... does it, Is this like a way of... of uh, this doesn't overwrite any choices or anything, right? Harry Pledger, thanks for the super chat, man. First time live, found you through Bioshock. Your playthroughs are my favorite because you're always so thorough. Invite us to Cinder and Garrus' wedding. <laughs> you're invited. You're, you could be the best man. It's just a summary. Okay. Geo, thanks as well. Finally caught you live. You helped me through a lot with your stream. This is just a small thank you. Thank you, Geo. I'm glad you're here. Uh, let's review it. Why not? Let's see. May as well make sure that everybody's Just on the same page. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make. The paths you choose. That turn the routine. Into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. Good kid. Loyal, by the book. With a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough. Disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The art's really cool. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. I hit him with some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian specter named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, yeah. wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the oh, biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian <laughs> named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. 
Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, and disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status, and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind. This comic is really well done. He told me I'd need it more than he would. That's awesome, man. He also pointed me in a direction. In a cool way of doing Liara, it, instead of just A Prothean expert, video? adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Yeah, Dark Horse does Her really good stuff. Accessing my vision yeah. was unexpected. They did the Witcher comics as but well. Not at all unpleasant. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. Oh, we shut those down. I decided discretion was the better part of valor and kept my focus on our goal, finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, <laughs> Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni queen. Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer. But we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage. The comic got to Vermeer way quickly. Way quicker than I did. Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. Mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship was a reaper it spoke to me threatened me that's cool i could feel the menace it had for every living thing it wanted me dead it wanted us all dead and i knew it was capable of doing just that i forgot about but the peak 15 master yeah. why saren definitely. would help it definitely did but there was no time to think about it sovereign knew where we were we had to destroy the base and get the hell out i split my team into two squads sending ash with one and caden with the other as a distraction we had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. 
It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all the of them. Only he tried to I convince to me he was still in control. In Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But it wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. Who's in that photo? We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. I'd never tell anyone, but I had my doubts. Leaving Ashley behind had hardened my resolve, but revealed a weakness in my defenses. How many more friends and allies would I be willing to sacrifice oh, in that's order to Ashley? stop Saren? Okay. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. Much after the Protheans had land. fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to Well, it doesn't look like gift. Ashley, Makaru. The Protheans the thing. had discovered that the Citadel was the key At to all. controlling <laughs> the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. It caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now Those regrouping. Those husks are done really well. That's and cool, too. Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counter- Look at Garrus literally flying through the air, saving Citadel. humanity. But Saren was done running. And all the other races. And I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. Uh, no, these comics aren't added. This, this was in the original. Humanity and the other races. But in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier, tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. <laughs> no ambition to get in the way. Yeah, of the course. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. 
routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. That's really exceptional. Um, Deadput was saying in chat that when an ME1 first came out, it was only on uh, the Xbox. So a lot of people playing the sequel on, I guess, what, PS3? PS4, Commander Shepard whatever, has been recovered. Would never have experienced that. So that comic helps a lot. Oh, the whole Lazarus thing, too. Yeah, wow. Totally forgot that. We must rebuild the commander. This is on 360 and PC. Okay, cool. Vagrant, thanks, man. Thanks for the super chat. Creative message goes here. Thanks, man. Okay. Oh, okay. We look pretty, pretty good. I wonder... Oh. I would love for the ability to just, like, modify this slightly... Because I feel like there's a lot more detail here. But I guess we're going to stick with this one. Okay, now, uh, we were in Infiltrator before. I'm probably going to stay with that. Uh, sniper rifle, heavy pistol, submachine gun. Submachine gun's a nice additional option. Uh, cryo ammo, disruptor ammo. Tactical cloak is cool. Incinerate's nice. AI hacking. I think in my original playthrough, I was a Vanguard. Shotgun. The Biotic Charge is super cool. Incendiary Cryo Ammo. Sentinels is like tanky, right? Tech Armor, Throw, Warp, Overload, Cryo Blast, Heavy Pistol, Machine Gun. Adepts, Heavy Pistol, Machine Gun, but you're all just like tossing stuff left, right, and center. You could copy the ID. Oh, I wonder. Let's check something. Let's check. Let me see if that works. Can I type in here? Oh, okay. Let me just type in my code and then... And then I'll see if I want to make any kind of micro adjustments. E1 T L8 B EQE 11K EHM 138 EB6 CFG EGB 1WG.6 Very, very, very nice. It's possible that we've changed our hairstyle over the years, you know? So, like, we should at least review this. We should at least review this. We've gone full school principal. Probably easier to just use these. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Honestly, don't love any of them except for the one that we already had. So I wouldn't mind if it was like cleaned up a little bit, but I guess that's not the case. Do we dye our hair now? I don't think so. We don't have time for that. All right. Do we wear makeup now?
Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe we're changing up the lipstick a little bit. Okay, I think, <laughs> I think after all that, I think we're just going to keep what we had. <clears throat> you don't like the nose? You think the nose is weird? It's a little up. Why does my nose look so weird? <laughs> it's a little aggressive. Now that you pointed it out, I don't know if I can get past it. It's just so upwards. That's not like normal noses. I mean, that's as low as it can go. low as it can go. Oh, there is one thing I might want to change here, actually. That's better. From the front, you can't really tell, but when she goes to the side... Holy... She has definitely a, an interesting side profile. <laughs> There's not a whole, not a whole lot I could do about it apparently. We'll just accept the imported face. All right. Uh, engineer, combat drone, overload, incinerate, AI, hacking, cryoblast, heavy pistol, machine gun. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, so the soldier, I'm definitely not going to pick the soldier. I, I like, I, I like A, the tactical cloak, B, the sniper rifle, uh, the AI hacking is cool. The only other one I would even really consider would be something like an adept, but then we're totally just changing our whole vibe. I think we just roll with what we had. Cinder Shepherd, colonist, soul survivor, infiltrator. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. We'll, try to stay calm. We'll go with the uh, assumption is off the charts. that the scars were fixed into the red zone. in the Lazarus not working. Uh, project. Another dog. Now. Eh? Heart rate dropping. There's got to be That's something a little bit different. Range. Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Yeah, exactly. They fixed the scar. I mean, I actually think scars impart uh, personality. But... Oh, we do have some. <laughs> we do have some scars. Beard. What's up, man? Grab the pistol and armor from the locker. We're already level four. Insane. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep 
Okay, one thing I need to switch. exit cover now instead of just pulling off or I guess it kind of works either way oh yeah reloading will be different oh it feels way better Pretty headshot kills. Oh, that's easy for us guys. Oh wow. Probably had to borrow it from Elon. Or Jeff. I'm just gonna check something here. Are there no other uh, settings in here? Like no type of like high, low, medium, nothing? Or am I missing something? Weird. Oh, you might want to run.
I called my wife the Ice Queen the other day. She can be a Get little cold here. sometimes. Didn't go as it didn't go over very well. I threw my shield. What are you doing here? I thought you were still yeah, a work Jacob. in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah. Sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Jacob or Caden? Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. So two years have gone. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when yeah, you want me to go. hit them with the good stuff. Combat system. Okay, move your mouse over the pull power. Okay, now if can I? Oh yeah, now we're done. Disruptor ammo, tactical cloak. I guess I can throw this in there too. Falling back. Yeah. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. The eyes in this one look a lot better than the first one. They're still not amazing. They look way better. Less like just glossed over. A little bit more life. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. <laughs> of Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. That's cool. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd the come only back. I want to hear Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. Technically. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. I miss our eyebrow Miranda scar, Larson man. Miranda the station's ranking officer. Not gonna lie. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life. 
no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Uh, there was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? <laughs> Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Okay. We have some levels. Oh my god. This looks so different. This is crazy. <laughs> uh, Jan, thanks for the $3 super chat, man. Ahoy hoy, late fee submitted. No worries, man. Thank you so much. SS, thanks for the super chat as well. Here's a little something for your first date with Garrus. Have fun, you two kissies. Thank you. Anonymous, thanks for the donation of $6.90. I get it. Six nine. <laughs> nice. And Polar Beard, thanks for the massive super chat. So glad you started Tainted Grail playthrough. Sad I missed the earlier stream. We'll catch up tomorrow. I uh, got my first boat today. Was derping around with it all day, so I didn't really have time for much anything else. Dude, that's awesome. First boat? You fishing or what? That's super cool. Okay. So this changes a little bit, right? So it's two points here, three points here, four points here. Um, we need to get level two to get this. We probably want to go here. Um, need rank two tactical cloak and rank two incinerate. And then we have operative ranks. Your harsh training regiment increases weapon damage, reduces power recharging time, gives a time dilation effect while entering sniper zoom and increases Paragon and Renegade scores. What? That's weird. That's cool. Okay, so let's take uh, two here, two here. And then I think I'm, well, if I don't have any points here, I might not even be able to use it. Oh, wait. These are squad points. Oh, same thing. Okay. Never mind. Um. <laughs> Let's just take it. And we'll take one. Uh, let's take one in operative, actually. And then Jacob, let's do... What do we need here? Squad member is not loyal. Okay, so before we can even use barrier, he has to be loyal. Let's make him a little tankier. Go we'll pull here. Incendiary ammo. And we'll hold the other one. How long does this last? Not that long. You've been spotted. Damn it, Wilson. The room is crawling with mechs. The station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. System not designed for specialized ammunition. Attack! <laughs> Wilson, find us in the... Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! Up those stairs, Shepard! Oh, God. oh boy. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who she was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter her identity in any way, if she's somehow not the woman she used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. Yep. I refuse to let that happen. That's definitely the way a scientist would want it. Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, 
That was me. <laughs> oh, that's talk cool, about Polar. This after you. we fix my leg. Awesome. Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the meta gel from the first aid station on the wall. Move your mouse over the unity power. Revives any wounded, fallen squad member. I think I had that on four. Never thought you'd save my a life. A far before. Guess that makes us even now, huh? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Solid. Besides, I was <laughs> shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. Holy jump to conclusions, Wilson. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Get down, Wilson! We overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttle. These mechs don't know when Oh yeah, these are like permanent, right? <laughs> This ammo is like permanently in there. That's it. Let's get out of here. Right. Oh, that that's cool how it shows it on okay, the side of the gun. Okay, took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's I think we can guess based on the logo. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Ding, ding, ding. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to run know what's uh, hardcore limb, Stella. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah, that's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther Whoa. to the shuttle bay. Cerberus is updated. Immediately following the first contact, we're an anonymous extra net manifesto something something. So, um, I have a question. So this, this skill here, oh, I can't see it right now. Um, the skill at the bottom of our skill uh, menu uh, where it adds you know 20% paragon or renegade is that giving us 20% more paragon or renegade points so right there when we got four uh, were we getting 20% more is that what that means yes okay Seen us. <laughs> oh, they actually killed something. That's pretty impressive. The whole like needing ammo thing is I actually really like that change. I wouldn't mind if there was a way to switch the side that you're aiming on. 
Battlepair says it doesn't make you gain more points, but it multiplies your total points by that amount. So how does that work? Because, uh, you know, if I'm already at a certain amount, I, I guess we'll, we can try to figure that out later. Highlight individual nodes to match matching, to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time. Oh, whoops. I feel like this probably doesn't even need to be hot hard, but I'm going to maybe put this at the end. How do I get rid of these now? Uh-oh. Well, that's not great. You have a thousand total points and you get operative rank one. It multiplies your thousand points by 1.2. If you respec and don't get that skill, your total points goes back down. Oh, okay. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant Through here, we're almost at the Miranda. That crash is, an, is a bug that's always been there. Is that what you're saying? Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. <laughs> Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave. She's very the ruthless, sure. eh? We need to go back and look. The ice Don't queen. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. 
Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. You don't say. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Pretty sure the elusive man only uh, talks to us like through some type of hologram interface. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Get it? Because Lazarus... Because we were... Dead, and then... We weren't. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of I knew of it, it felt longer than the two years. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when the slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died in a coups. You were the only one who lived. Mm -hmm. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Go speak with the elusive man in the room The downstairs. elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Armor locker. Oh my god. What? Oh, sick. How come I can't... Maybe I unlock more of this as we go? Uh, these things are increasing health by a little bit. Oh, here we go. These are all basically the same. With different levels of shininess. I like kind of that matte look. Oh, here, here, here. I mean, yeah, there's a ton of cool colors, okay? Don't get me wrong, but, like, obviously black is the coolest. I can make an argument for white. Or, like, an army green. The red is fine. I bet you guys, I bet you a lot of people pick something like this. Uh, like this red right here. This one. Or this one. This dark red's actually pretty good. DLC armors are in shops. Oh, okay. Check mail to unlock armors. Buy it or research it. Try the gold looking one. It looks awesome in cutscenes. Is that right, ghosts? This one here? Or this one? There's a couple of different gold options. 
This one's pretty cool. I would have to get rid of the red, though. Is there a way to get rid of the red? Not really. I think I'd do black if I do a gold. Black and gold, like the song, you know? Can't tell if that's purple or gold. Could go a little camo. Eh, I kind of like this better, I think. Here we go. That's not bad. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Is it this gold or this? This is kind of more orangey. This looks more gold. Pretty toit. That is like a dark maroon. But that's the closest I can get to black. Otherwise, it's kind of a gray. Not bad. Um, can you turn off helmets? Or does it kind of have to be like this if I don't want it on? Like for cutscenes. So this gives me extra weapon damage. This gives me health. This gives me health. And this obviously gives me nothing. Oh, it's permanent helmets no matter what. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if I, I have to go no helmet, if I don't want helmets on in cutscenes, I'm okay with that. Looks pretty good. I assume we can change this pretty often. Casual attire... Oh, I can't believe this is a oh, super casual hoodie. Did not expect to see that. Don't like it at all. I actually kind of like this. This is fine. This is boring. This is horrible. I think this actually fits my shepherd pretty well. This is Kasumi's DLC? Or are you talking about the dress? I just... <laughs> I think this might be a little too casual. Um, I just want to make sure we're putting out the right vibes for the squad, you know? Alright. This is how it's going to be for now. It actually does look really good. The gold is really nice. Good call, goats. We'll put on the dresses at the right time. Don't don't you worry. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memories still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? 
Word the elusive war. man music. No one so wants nice. to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. So it's my fault. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Oh. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Okay, so are they... Do they change some of these things around now? They don't maintain position when you... You could have trained an entire army for what them? you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. I don't love that it will change that stuff, but... If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the okay, right direction. Sorry. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Typical billionaire. Typical billionaire. Okay. Um... I don't know if I'm going to go into cryo yet. I probably want to go into AI hacking. So let's grab level two here, and then we can start doing this. Uh, somebody said that there was a gameplay thing about turning off helmets. There's an option in here. But I don't know. I don't think it would be there. But I don't know that we've seen anything like that. Anything about helmets? I think... I think... You could be wrong. That's in three. Yeah, okay. Look for clues that might explain what happened to the missing colonists. Okay, so let's just... Let's get a quick brief on everything that's happening here. So, prologue, save Joker. Yep, cool. Um, investigate the missing colonists. The ship is waiting for you in the hangar bay to take you to Freedom's Progress. And then we have Freedom's Progress. All of the colonists of Freedom Progress have mysteriously vanished. The elusive man would like a team to investigate the disappearances. There. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I like that we're just laying I know it who down. I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. 
I don't I don't think we need to start being like all power hungry yet. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. Ye. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. Such as? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, of alter your character would. somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. I mean, at this point, we could we could believe that they may have implanted a chip anyways, and you're just telling us, oh yeah, I would have totally implanted a control chip. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. And so humble. So humble. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Jesus. <laughs> Holy. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Okay. That's been, it's been it's great. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We wow. can talk about it or we can do it. Okay. I want to take a look at uh, some of these codexes real quick here. Um, ooh, there's holy smokes a lot. Okay, hey, Freedom's Freedom Progress. Progress Colony was once a typical Alliance they settlement. Read it. But following complete communications blackout and its apparent destruction is now a lightning rod for anxiety and dread in the galactic human community. The communications blackout followed an upgrade of the colony's small military force, supplemented by mechs and security drones, with high-powered tower-mounted guardian lasers. Colonists complained about construction cost overruns, delays, noise, and damage to the local environment. They also feared the defense array could be seen as provocative to their world's neighbors. Such fears may not have been baseless. Authorities have still offered no explanation for the communications blackout, fueling rumors of plagues, natural disasters, or a cult-inspired mass suicide. Located in strategically insignificant space, Freedom's Progress Colony had once offered residents spectacular rainbows, lush marshlands, and stunning mountain ranges. Its potential as an agricultural settlement and tourism wonderland rivaled that of any Alliance colony. I like how he, he reads it um, like a newscaster, you know? Okay, we know about the races. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station. We know about presumably this. Constructed Immediately following the first contact war, an anonymous extranet manifesto warned that an alien attempt at human genocide was inevitable. The manifesto called for an army, a Cerberus to guard against invasion through the Charon Relay. Derided as survivalist rhetoric written by an elusive man, the manifesto and its anonymous author soon fell off the media radar. But in 2165, terrorists stole antimatter from the SSV Geneva. The sole figure arrested named his sponsor mm. Cerberus. Throughout the 2160s and 2170s, alleged Cerberus agents assassinated politicians, sabotaged starships bearing Ezo, and conducted nightmarish experiments on aliens and humans. So these guys are like radicals. Denounced as human supremacist, Cerberus calls yeah. itself human survivalist. Counter-terror experts speculate Cerberus may have changed leadership with its recent shift to stockpiling ships, agents, and weapons. Whether he, she, or they, 
the elusive man hides his finances hidden behind shell companies. Few doubt he will kill anyone attempting to expose him. Okay, so here's what I would like to do. Um, we the know about all of these the guys, so I'm just going to clear these out. I know we can mark all as viewed. I just want to see if there's anything 50, interesting that we years. haven't heard of recently. In the Tyrion's, Elcor, Geth, Hanar, Krogan, Corians, Reapers, Volus. The vo Citadel, the Inspectors, Spectre. we're aware. Organization, Cerberus, Immediate the Elusive the Man. Uh, ships and Vehicles, Normandy SR-1, Alliance. we know. Technology, Biotics. Biotic. When subjected Iso. to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed Element Zero, or Ezo, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass yeah. effect is used in countless ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. Ezo is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. I don't These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Ah, yes. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. Okay, so this was like absolutely crucial. Uh, Weapons, armor, and equipment, medi gel. Medi now, I'm gonna mark all the secondary as, as viewed. And now anything new, especially in primary, we'll probably just listen to as we go. And uh, rock and roll from there. Cash, what's up, man? Thank you for the super chat. Uh, heard you were saying that Dexter is feeling old. Ask the vet about steroid shots. Really help my old dog, especially good for arthritis and inflammation. We, uh, we've had a few issues with Dexter on uh, steroids in the past that were prescribed. Uh, I appreciate the, the sentiment, just you thinking about them, but um, never really did that well on them and uh, kind of freaked us out a little bit. So yeah, I appreciate it though, man. Thank you so much. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Well, I'm not... I'm not joining. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? Being honest? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Man, I love the little nicks and scratches in the armor suit. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules, but there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. So I guess that the plus two Paragon Renegade there is because we told him we're not sure if we trust him or not. Uh, Deadput says, people forget we've only known the aliens for 40 years at the point of Mass Effect 1, so 42 now. Realistically, most humans would have been pretty skeptical. Now, that's a fair point. Is that like a kind of an Ashley defense? Oh, nice. Very nice. 
very nice. I forgot all about this mission complete screen. Shepard escaped attack on the facility, along with operatives Taylor and Lawson. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survived. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on the other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. <laughs> we import a level 55 character. So we started at level 4. We have 1,045,999 credits. In ME1, we capped out at 999,999. No, 9... Wait. We, yeah, we capped out at... Okay, right. We capped out at 9,999,999. And so I guess we got a percentage of that. Still pretty solid. Pretty solid amount of, of uh, credits in the bank. We got a new heavy weapon, sure. And we got some cash. We're rich. How many guns do you think that will, will buy us? One? We got a good sniper rifle? Adventurous souls, thanks for the super chat. I just want you to read something I type. LOL. Happy Saturday, odd family, exclamation. <laughs> uh... Adventurous Souls? You, I think you forgot a T in your name. I'm not judging. I, I spell bad, too. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just... Disappear. We've got no target to go LLBRB. after. LLBRB. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What happened to the other eight million? I'm guessing there's probably some type of storage fees for us over the past two years, you know? It's the only thing that would make sense. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Yo, Warren, thank you, man. Thanks for the join, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. I think we're... Man, you guys are absolutely, like, just insanely generous. Thank you so much. You don't like the gold armor, JJ Binks? Come on. You're being just like Jar Jar. <laughs> I think it looks dope. Cerberus has provided additional weapons. Oh, the Mantis? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. No one can avoid taxes, even dead people. What about, like, rebuilt people? Do they have to pay taxes? Do they get any, like, write offs? They must. Okay. Zero contacts! So, let me see here. Uh, let me see what I want to do. So pull, I think, is a good starter, right? And then we hit him with a warp. One, two. Uh, I think cloak can maybe go way over here. We don't need to use that all the time. Uh, same thing with, like, the ammos. I'll put this on four where I'm used to it. Incinerate can be three. And then we've got overload on five. You may as well always be using incendiary ammo. Burns through armor, sets enemies on fire, damages health. Rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets. Oh, I can't believe we're playing two. I can't believe we're here. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner.
Did I stick with Infiltrator? Yes. Yes, I did. Dankinia. How you doing? Nice Strange. to see you. No bodies. Ever seen no a Krogan drink so much they no get sick on your floor? Yes. Yes, I have. Every weekend. <laughs> did you just go change your name? <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Bonus tip for the typo catch in my username. I literally just changed it. Looking forward to you schmoozing Garrus. Okay. Oh, God. The first sniper shot. Second sniper shot. A whiff. Oh, that feels nice. Incoming. Shoot them before they take out the shield. Oh, thanks, Miranda. That's very helpful. There we go. Oh, boy. You're done. Drop. The sensitivity when I'm zoomed in is a little bit higher than I would like. Have a nice I'll just have to get used to that. Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. I'm almost out of bullets, man. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed. Oh, I see. Ramped them to attack on site. You can see in the uh, on the radar down here. We're not alone here. Is yeah, so this is all secondary stuff? That's fine. What's up, Diffuse? Anyways, keep it the amazing work. I'll try to watch your streams if I can, but nonetheless, continue to shoot their heads off. Thanks. I mean, to insanity is rough. Yeah, I, I feel like even hardcore here is going to be a, a challenge. Definitely. So, do I not have any, like... So, in the first one, you were using Medigel to heal, right? And now I only have like the squad revive. And this is so much faster, thank God. Ammo in the game is scarce. I don't love that. I want to be blasting. You're right. oh, gravity's one B, brother. <laughs> Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Whoa. You cool? Yeah, you're not wrong. Ammo is pretty scarce. Like, nothing has dropped it at all. That'll be, uh... a challenge. Stop right there! Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Tally. Wait. Shepard? Cool. I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Nice. Yes, it did. Praza, weapons down. So cool. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on Oh, what a cool shot. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Vitor? Why did he come here? Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. 
She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his Sutsio 2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Okay, guys, I need to run to the washroom very quick. Do we blink? Oh yeah, we do. All right, that's good at least. Thanks guys. Okay. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? Chill out, no, Kraza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our Those ships. Those are pretty solid That's reasons. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Find Vitor. Fight through the mechs to reach Vitor on the far side of the colony. Got it. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Do you have any grenades in this one? They've seen us. Whoa. Overload on Wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. 
We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch them. <laughs> okay. So the healing is only through uh, that unity skill now, right? Revives any wounded fallen squad member. I don't have any other healing outside of that. So when I maxed out, this is just going to give me like credits. I'm going to actually move uh, overload over here. Yeah, you regen now. I sorry, I meant more for like my uh, my squad, but yes, I, I totally get it. He goes. Enemy down. I've got him. This is ridiculous. The heavy mech. It's tearing for the squad of Part. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Yeah, I kind of wish I saved the uh <laughs> grenade ammo here, but you know. What are you gonna do? Affirmative. Grabbing cover. Do you guys know if there's a way Take to point, change Shepard. the sensitivity we'll of the door. zoomed in? It's like very, very twitchy. Gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Defense systems. Overlord, take out their shield. Abilities come up a lot faster than before. Have a nice trip. Not bad. Not bad, squad. Not bad. Power cells? Oh, okay. Heavy weapon. Warren, thanks for the Superman. Uh, just had a hot combat tip. Auto guns good against shields. Semi-auto for armor. Certain abilities are better used against armor and shields, while some are not. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. I'm just looking for, like, any shreds of ammo here.
Got iridium. This should come in handy. We must recruit a head scientist to build something. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably it. somewhere in the back of the loading bay. You got it. You got it. So does the ammo not persist through weapons? I've probably loaded it in each of them now. That one won't matter. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Okay, gotta load it to each one. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will Paragon protect. action when showing Swarms on screen. Coming. Oh Storm. my god. Okay. I forgot all about that. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Fill me in. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Can the... Can the, uh... The Collectors have advanced technology. Reapers? They could have a weapon that disables collectors? an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. They're already the Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Uh, Bully, yeah, I played this on the channel like eight years ago or something like that. But uh, obviously, it's, it's been a long time. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. I like this The guy. monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. Mm. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Hmm. Did 
You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. Hmm. That should tell you how important it is. I respect her too much to force her hand here. He's traumatized. Well, Miranda's he not going to like this. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Oh, wow. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the she one. She didn't even ice queen me. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Yeah, so collectors, that's all fuzzy to me. Uh, so we'll learn about that as we go. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work mm. groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. But Finding me. them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. This guy just reeks of venture capitalism, you know? Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Oh, cool. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. What about big boy Rex? Come on. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka. Oh, yeah, Chichanka. And he hasn't gone off world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. We have a different Krogan with us this go around, I believe. I can't remember his name, but uh, I know it's not Rex. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even oh, we cool. haven't been able to locate him. 
Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. Yeah, they've been super helpful in the past. convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Yeah, grunt. That's right. Grunt, grunt, grunt. <laughs> That's so sick. I was, I, sorry, I was looking out my window. We're having crazy storms right now. So if for some reason, if the stream goes down unexpectedly, the house got struck by lightning. There's not a whole lot I can do. June, thank you so much for the join. George, thanks for the super chat. Uh, I've been watching you since Phoenix Point. Your chill style quickly made you my favorite YouTuber and now streamer. Love you, man. George, I love you too. I love you too, George. Everybody just be more like George. What a good guy. Is this like Ocean's Eleven? We're assembling the crew? Yes. Pretty much. Uh, except for the heist and comedy. You worry about the collectors. <laughs> I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant celebrity. Oh, yeah, baby, Morden. Our intelligence Let's suggests go. he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. <laughs> I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. J-Bomb. Look, he's walking and everything. I mean, they hey, can Commander. rebuild a human. I'm sure they're like old times, huh? Drink drink so much they get Leave sick on you, your floor. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. A lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. I thought Joker was like in a chair or something. Was it? Didn't he have like uh, the disease and he couldn't walk or something like that? Oh, it's just hard for him because he got like brittle bones, right? For some reason, I thought he didn't walk. Oh, this is gonna be really, really nice. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. It's just painful if not careful. They retcon it in this game that it's his entire body instead of just his leg. Hate the change. For this, but it's Deadfoot, our resident Mass Effect lore master. Collectors confirmed as source of attacks on Freedom's progress. Orion survivor Vitor returned with Tali Zora to the migrant fleet. Will examine his Omni Tool data for anything useful. Uh, you must recruit a head scientist to build this upgrade. Heavy weapon upgrade, 15% heavy weapon ammo capacity. Okay. Credits and iridium. Cool. So we got to get, we got to go get Morton ASAP. Oh yeah, see, this is so fitting. I'm, I'm glad we picked this. This outfit's sick. Frog, thanks for the super chat, man. Here's hoping you don't get hit by lightning. <laughs> Thank you, Frog. Frog Raider won. Frog Raider was taken, I assume. It's a very popular username. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. 
I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. Right there with you. The collectors use Ice some queen. type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Oh, Edie! Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. <laughs> Almsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Use the galaxy map to pick new destinations for the Normandy. Yep, cool. God, I love what they've done with the place. Private terminal to get status updates on your squad. All right. Armory, select weapons for your squad from the armory. Does, do any of you guys actually use the armory? I feel like you would just do that out in the field, generally. Oh, yeah, we have our own quarters now. Okay, so we can change our appearance over there if we want. Might try the might try the hoodie. We'll see. Acquire the professor to research upgrades for your Scott's equipment, one of which we have. Okay. Assemble a team. Yeah, excellent. Let's first of all just check out our base. Or our, our base. Travel to Omega. Pick up the infamous mercenary Zaid Masani. Oh, yeah. Kasumi Goto. Travel to the Zakira Ward on the Citadel. Travel to Alcara. Or the crash site of the SSV Normandy. Project Firewalker. Investigate the wreckage. Firewalker feels like a DLC. I could be wrong. Haptic Adaptive Interface. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits Looks, me like a glove. Yeah, it does. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, Don't but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the yeah, seats breathe. Yeah. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I love this, I like the dude. Normandy when she was this is awesome. And quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. <laughs> Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective. He's so easily Joker. won over. Uh, leather? Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Oh, crap. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Okay. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Of course you do. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Is it just me or is Edie looking particularly hot in this remake? 
What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Okay. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. She's incredibly Let's helpful. discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Got it. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. True. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Fact. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. That's uh, Liara's old stomping ground. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Why does she switch between blue and red? Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's Is internal blue wireless here? network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic oh, red operator block. cannot react okay. quickly enough okay. to changing circumstances okay. or perform the necessary multitasking. Oh, that's cool time. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Just putting it out there. <laughs> Just putting it out there. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Red means she's renegade. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Yeah, okay, Some of block. my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Okay, so we'll have to pay attention to that to see if that comes up. Let's discuss something else. In the future. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Very informative, Edie, thank you. <laughs> Pumrel, thanks for the super chat, man. It's great that you've moved to YouTube. I've a I've been a, van a fan of your VODs for a long time. Question, how often do you drop a game? Um, I would say it's pretty infrequently. Like, I would say my completion rate of games is probably, like, 99%, <laughs> to be honest. It's quite high. It's quite high. So I would say infrequently. Very. I'm your Why do you Kelly ask? Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. Oh, Kelly! I I'll remember your her. Messages and help you monitor the crew. Great and haircut. I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. No. Yeah, that's fine. We, we can run a... We don't have to, our ship doesn't have to be that tight. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. You haven't completed Andromeda. Yeah. No, I haven't completed every game. Uh... We don't need to get into all of the games that I haven't completed, but I was just answering the guy's question. <clears throat> Vampire. I drop a game when it... So here, I'll drop a game when I'm not enjoying it anymore. Uh, I should drop Biomutant. I should. But because there's nothing else going on right now, it doesn't make sense for me to, to drop it. So I'll just work my way through it. But I should, I should drop it. And very few people are... I'll keep you notified of Would any be messages upset. or appointments you might have. <laughs> if any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Okay. 
How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. I don't remember her looking exactly worry. like this. We'll defeat the collectors. She changed in some I way, didn't she? I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Ah. <laughs> uh... Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. Oh, if any of the crew right. has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. You have new messages Isn't at that your the private type of terminal. Task better suited for a VI. Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Hmm. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Battle Bear is saying, apparently her face was unique and didn't port over to ME3. They were already behind on development, so they just gave her a new face. <laughs> what? Lively says they had issues importing ME2 Chambers look into ME3, so they changed them both to the ME3 and the remaster. Weird. Okay. Okay. Welcome aboard, Commander. Team status. Yeah. Uh, cool. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Dark Miranda. Love it. Okay. Upgrades. Improve your squad member's powers, your weapons, and your ship, making mich mission success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or research them using a research terminal. Holy crap. You guys, this actually isn't bad. Uh, there's like eight emails here for two years. Could be worse. Wait, what? What just happened there? I double-clicked it and she's gone. Okay. We'll have to go back to that. Uh, deal struck with Zaid Masani from The Elusive Man. Reach an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. Uh, you may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You'll find him on Omega. Six, best in the galaxy. Where, he's wrapping, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. Lost contact with survey ship. Project Firewalker. The MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planetside Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Dr. Robert Oloy are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, the survey team, and the doctors. The MSV Rosalie was last seen near planet Ziona. Alista Ismar and Frontier. Okay. Maybe I won't just double click these and we'll just mark as red later. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Admiral Hackett, uh, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to the place to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. Recon Hood. Uh, it occurred to our armor technicians that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you may like. 
the hoods in your quarters. Overlord, one of your cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology, and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized, though I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet Ait. Ait? Typhoon? Typhoon system? In the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. Arc Projector. Recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against the Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device we finally let them take out on the lab. Since their unit's being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an Arc Projector. I sent it to the Normandy's Armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests and indicated overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works. Now we want to know what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train our other operatives. Rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. At great cost and effort, we've tracked down the master thief, Kasumi Goto, and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever seen, have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She's unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakira Ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password Silence is Golden to begin the rendezvous. And Ascension Financial Services, uh, thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing your file, the subsequent change in status and reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 999,999 credits. Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Are you protecting your greatest assets? We'll find the best life insurance rates and coverage to fit your needs. Reply for a free quote today. Okay. Archive messages. Here we go. On the off chance the rumors are true and you actually are alive and need to come and talk to me on the Citadel, a lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council. It's only fair that you're allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Very cool. All right. Awesome. Let's check out the rest. Uh, Brandon, thanks for the super chat, man. Hey, are you grabbing Big Daddy G today? And why would you drop the Biomutant? I watched the first few videos. It seemed like you were enjoying it. Uh, it just gets super, super repetitive. And nobody's really watching it. Very, very few people. So it kind of like kills your channel when you keep putting up uh, multiple videos uh, with really low views because then YouTube stops recommending other videos. It's just like part of the challenge with a, with a Let's Play channel. But uh, I am going to finish it. So if that if you're concerned, don't worry. I am I am gonna finish Biomutant and uh, and go from there. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Bringing you wasn't my choice. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe, as long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. <laughs> what has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Who would you guys equate Cerberus to in real life? Like, what group would you equate them to that that we would know? Voyager, thanks for the super chat, says, Kasumi, get Kasumi and do loyalty mission for better SMG. I will, okay. I will. I was... <laughs> Pistol, that's funny. I was gonna say like QAnon, but I didn't know if that would be as fitting. <laughs> Nestle. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are funny. FBI. I don't think QAnon's a good fit. 
Uh, Disney? I don't think so either. CIA or NASA? Uh, but CIA is like... I don't know if that fits either. I don't remember much after I ate the lamp. Loose bunch of cells like Middle East groups. Blackwater. Oh yeah, maybe maybe Blackwater would be kind of close. SpaceX. <laughs> I don't think so. Amazon. Illuminati. Eh, I don't know if these guys are holding like... I don't know if that's the right one. I think Blackwater is probably the closest I've seen. Like a private military group. Uh, lots of money. Don't really know what they're doing. But like on a, on a grander scale, probably, right? Why do you think... Why do you guys say SpaceX would be the best fit technically? Is that just because they want to like explore other planets? Yo, Matthew, thanks for the super chat, man. I love this Mass Effect playthrough. You're my favorite streamer. Dude, thanks so much. That's like super, that's super kind. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support, dude. Thanks, Matthew. The Catholic Church. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Huh. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Jacob. Isn't there another, like, gym bro that kind of sits in here eventually? I can't remember. I feel like maybe I'm misremembering, but... What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications oh, okay. That's room. Why she's in in addition there. to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator yeah, to the James Vega. office. That's this three? allows lag okay. communication okay. even when you operate off the comm grid. Lag free communications. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass Fair. only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs. One link to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. I mean, duh. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum... To contact a hundred different worlds. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay, armory, tech lab. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Okay, I get it. We need a scientist, but like, come on. I get it. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Is that is that right, Kelly? Thanks. This is her one job. This is her one job. I don't even have any new messages. She's gonna get on my nerves, I think. Okay, yeah, let's check out our cabin. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, she's not gonna last very long if she keeps that up. Oh, yeah, we can buy fish. Save your crew from an overwhelming attack. Return to active duty. This is kind of like... Like, if you never played, this is kind of spoilery stuff in here. Okay, so we can also read the emails in the room. That's nice. I don't have to read out in front of everyone. Does this thing play uh, BFG Division? 
I'm 95% sure there would be a mod where you can put your own music on this thing. Chat, don't let me down. Is this for for real? Can I put can I put something on here? It would be like my own thing. Not bad. I want something more jammy. the helmet that the uh, elusive man was talking about. I guess we're going no helmet the entire time. <laughs> Look at this. That is very casual. Maybe if we have like a hot outing. Date. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Crew deck, life support locked, port observation locked. These unlock as you acquire people, Shepherd, right? The women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Oh yeah, excuse me, Edie. Thanks, appreciate that. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Got it. Is that better? Love to know that she's tracking me full time. Not awkward at all. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Would it be considered rude not to at least acknowledge your commanding officer? Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. <laughs> Let me just get out my doilies. Well, I didn't even say Thank anything. Real nice, Mr. Gardner. Oh, he's talking to him. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. I think I remember Forget this I quest, it. but for some reason I feel like getting these items was challenging. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye or out. Or expensive, maybe. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Namby Pambies? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So, the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. <laughs> most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Storm says not expensive at all and easy to get. Okay, I misremembered. Weird! I, I don't know. I don't know how I misremembered that. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. 
Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Go to the Citadel and purchase the special ingredients. It doesn't even tell me what they are. Okay, now, uh, chat, is there a good place to fit these uh, assignments in? Like, uh, canonically, if that's the right word? Or do we just throw these in, like, whenever we want? I'm just, like, basically what I'm asking is, do they... Do, do they fit somewhere nice or not so much? Look at all these guys. Definitely going here first. Let's grab a point in AI hacking here. And I'll maybe save this point. Whenever I feel right. Leave arrival till the end. Hey, Chakwas! Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy she looks crumble pretty good. with you on board. She looks the same as the first one. It's good to see you alive. She looks younger. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But You're the crash site early. That kind of makes sense. Welcome back, Shepard. That kind of makes sense. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Wait for your old squad mates for Normandy SR1. See, that's a good idea. Uh, Sarah's Ice Brandy. Yeah, coming up. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive. And we oh. have much larger concerns ahead. That's fine. I'm a millionaire. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. Krogan, a very respectable Best position. But it Just wasn't on the starship. So rude, chat, interrupting like that. Oh my god. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I Arrival should be done after engines, the main story. The creaking of bulkheads, okay. that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Walt, uh, just kidding about interrupting, by the way. Appreciate the, the super chat, man. Kasumi's mission gets more difficult the higher level you are. It's usually preferable to do it early unless you like it hard. Oh. I, I like it hard. Just saying. Access to the AI core is restricted. God damn it, Edie. What, what do you mean? What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Am I looking forward to Forbidden West? Forbidden West. Oh, yeah. Horizon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Def Definitely. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. 
Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Everything? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's an interesting comparison. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? Unlimited. We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving oh. you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant Never mind, not unlimited. and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. So if it costs four billion to rebuild us, and they consider that like a very big investment, very big uh, risk, let's say they have a net worth of approximately 20 billion? Maybe a bit more. They would just spend like 20% and like that's a like that's a lot. Maybe even like 40 billion. They'd spend 10% of their net worth to do it. That's a lot still. Maybe it's 80 billion. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. What can oh, you what? tell me about Not much. Th and whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you... Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Now! Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one oh. of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I think I remember something about her backstory. I'm very backstory. good at just about anything I choose to do. Didn't her parents want her to be, like, the best? Or whatever? What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. <laughs> While you were being rebuilt by Lazarus, I was studying the blade. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. I mean, the other crewmates must be incredibly jealous of this office. But, I mean, to be fair, she's she's higher ranking, so... You know, that's life. Yeah, I got one more floor to check. this area of the ship Normandy's cargo deck it includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle my last ship didn't need a shuttle why do we have one this ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy it is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds Wow Edie such a know-it-all oh yeah these two <laughs> 
You came all the way down here to There's see something us. Something happens with these guys, right? You're speaking Don't to a spoil it. I officer. can't remember what it is, but I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. You two think this is all a joke? Yikes. Yes, ma'am. I mean, no, ma'am. Won't happen again, ma'am. At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What's the issue? What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field lead. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Say no more. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. I'll handle it. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign oh, firsthand. That's super cool. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat. As a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. Snap, We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got Good me noticed know, by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Yeah, and these guys are probably making way more money than they were previously, so... So why did you join, Gabby? I get it. Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carry on. Will do, right Commander. in the daddy bags. <laughs> I love them. amazed Shepard came down to see us. Told you she would. That's awesome. Lim Stella says the best Mass Effect plays are those where people make mistakes. Perfect run is so boring. Yeah, I tend to agree. Uh, I don't plan on making any mistakes intentionally, but there definitely will be some. Uh, the the mistake that we made in the first one was the uh, massacre on Peak 15. It slaughtered everyone. Absolutely d destroyed them all. Had no choice. Had no choice. Isn't this where, like, Jack hangs out later? Pretty sure Jack chills down here. And Thane, maybe? Anyways, we'll, we'll find out later. Unless that mistake is getting Tally killed. I do plan to... I do... Look. <laughs> I don't remember how that mission goes. I don't remember what factors into people living or dying um i do plan to hopefully keep everyone alive you know so i mean that's the plan <laughs> will it work out that way i mean only time will tell only time will tell all right so uh i think we're gonna take a break here for today um the plan will be on tuesday when we come back we're gonna go and get the professor uh currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of omega um so we need to talk to ariette afterlife for information about warden but i i, I think going to the citadel 
Uh, makes a lot of sense. Let's just take a look at the map. See how crazy this is. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, I gotta like pilot the thing. I kind of wish I could just zoom out and look at this stuff a little bit more. Normandy crash, Omega. Built in the mine-out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. <clears throat> you missed the floor of the cargo bay? Did I? Hold on. You sure? What's this area of the ship? Oh, you mean in engineering? I can't go into cargo, man. Starboard cargo, port cargo. I don't think I've missed anything. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Hit the mass relay to see everything? Okay, I will. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just for you, orange drip. Until we have a solution in place, we cannot utilize the Omega-4 relay. Oh, I can't even do it yet. Okay. So we'll have to work on it. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here. This is super fun. I'm pumped that we're in Mass Effect 2. Uh, when we come back, we're going to focus in Omega here, specifically getting the Professor, but we'll probably follow multiple things in there. Uh, I don't see any other starting point that would make sense outside of that, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, this mass relay? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, yeah, so I said going to the Citadel, but I don't think that actually will work. Uh, for some reason when it said, where is it? Uh, talk to area at afterlife. For some reason I was thinking that was on the Citadel, but, uh, I guess that's not the case. He's in the slums of Omega. So cool. Anyways, that's where we'll go. Guys, thank you so much. Um, we will be back on Tuesday at noon. I don't know what game I'm going to play at noon on Tuesday, uh, but we'll be back at 4 p.m. with uh, with Mass Effect 2 for sure. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Sean Beak, thank you for the membership, dude. Guys, thanks for all the support, all the, all the new members, all of the super chats, uh, just chatting and hanging out, all the information, filling in some of the blanks for me. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, keep on being you. Have a great Saturday. And uh, have a great Sunday, have a great Monday, and then I'll, I'll be here to ruin your Tuesday, okay? Bye now. <laughs>